Hello students, so in this lecture we will discuss some of the mathematical uh, techniques, uh, some of the mathematical integrals rather, which are uh, beneficial for any thermodynamic uh, use. So we will first start with uh, this integral. Uh, Uh, minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus a x square dx now uh, this independent integral cannot be evaluated in terms of elementary functions so let us assume that it is a definite integral and we uh, write this one as equal to i and uh, let us write i in terms of a different variable so we can also write this i as equal to uh, minus infinity to infinity to the power minus a y square dy with the same thing now we write i square square and we multiply these two so it will be uh, minus infinity to infinity twice uh, into e to the power minus alpha x square plus y square into dx dy Now we change uh, it to polar coordinates. That is uh, r and theta from Cartesian coordinates. So we can write the value of i square uh, as equal to uh, 0 to infinity for the first case but for the r and uh, 0 to uh, pi by 2 for the theta and then we can write e to the power minus alpha r square into r dr d theta so here simply uh, r square is equal to x square plus y square and uh, dx dy is nothing but uh, r dr d theta now since the area is to be integrated uh, being the first quadrant the variables r and theta must be from uh, 0 to infinity and uh, from 0 to pi by 2 so continuing the calculation uh, so i square now turns out to be equal to pi by 2 for integration over theta has been done and the thing that remains is integration over r and uh, so it is then equal to pi by 2 uh, 0 to infinity and if we expand r we can write it as equal to minus uh, 1 by 2a and uh, we can write d to the power e to the power minus alpha r square so it is nothing but if we r if we take r as equal to uh, e to the power minus alpha r square and uh, then dr will be minus 1 by 2a r e to the power minus alpha r square so that's how this has been so these two quantities have been put here and if we move further it turns out to be equal to minus pi by 4a into e to the power minus 
e r square uh, 0 to infinity and uh, this is equal to pi by 4 a so that means uh, i square is equal to pi by 4 a Mm, so i which is I think what initial integration with which we started minus a alpha square actually alpha uh, sometimes it is written as a sometimes alpha so mm, a and alpha are equal here so and that turns out to be equal to 1 1 by 2 root pi by a and if a is equal to 1 then uh, infinite minus infinity to infinity to the power minus x square dx this is equal to 1 by 2 root pi Next important integral uh, is called is like this. It's uh, uh, zero to infinity e to the power uh, minus x into x to the power n dx, and it is actually called the gamma function. And it is written as equal to gamma uh, n plus 1. So, if we expand this, it will be a uh, integration 0 to infinity x to the power n t to the power minus e. If we replace uh, x by to the power minus e x, then we have the following. Uh, expression here and uh, expanding it further turns out to be equal to minus x to the power n e to the power minus x uh, 0 to infinity uh, plus n 0 to uh, infinity x to the power n minus 1 into the power minus x dx and so uh, integration by parts what we obtain is gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into 0 to infinity uh, x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x dx and it is nothing but n into gamma n so we can uh, now if if uh, if n uh, is greater than equal to 1 and is a positive integer you can write gamma n plus 1 as equal to uh, n comma n so then again can be written as n into n minus 1 into comma n minus 1 so that again n into n minus 1 comma n minus 1 can again be expanded in terms of n minus 2 gamma n minus 2 and this will continue uh, till we have value 2 1 gamma 1 and this is nothing but uh, n factorial so you can write it as gamma n plus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 
continuing to gamma 1 which is equal to n factorial and uh, gamma 1 is 1 so let's uh, prove it so gamma 1 will be equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus x dx and this is simply equal to 1. Now what about uh, gamma 1 by 2? So we can put the values as 0 to infinity e to the power minus x into x to the power minus 1 by 2 dx and it is equal to 2 into uh, 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy and uh, if, we, if, we, if we do uh, x is equal to y square then this quantity turns onto the picture and this we have recently uh, we have derived this so it becomes so gamma 1 by 2 so it is equal to this 2 into 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square into dy and is equal to 2 into root pi by 2 and that is equal to root pi so gamma 1 by 2 is equal to root pi now we have just also uh, seen that gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n so in the same notion we can write uh, this is equal to so if you put uh, n is equal to l minus 1 by 2 uh, we can write uh, gamma n plus 1 as equal to l minus 1 by 2 into l minus 1 by 2 minus 1 that is uh, into uh, gamma 3 by 2 so that is nothing but l minus 1 by 2 into l minus 3 by 2 into gamma 3 by 2 and we keep on doing it uh, it will be L minus 1 by 2, L minus 3 by 2, till we have 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, root pi. So, this is the last value. Now, the third uh, integration. Uh, important integration is uh, 0 to infinity e to the power minus alpha x square x to the power n dx so we assume this is equal to i n where uh, n is uh, greater than equal to 0 and we also substitute uh, x as equal to alpha to the power minus 1 by 2 uh, y uh, we get we see that i0 is equal to alpha to the power 1 by 2 into integration 0 to infinity uh, e to the power minus y square dy and uh, this is nothing but pi by 2 so we have alpha to the power minus 1 by 2 into root pi by 2 and uh, we get i1 as equal to alpha to the power minus 1 integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square y dy and 
so this becomes equal to uh, alpha minus 1 if you do the integration it turns out to be minus 1 by 2 into to the power minus y square uh, from 0 to uh, infinity limit and this is equal to 1 by 2 alpha to the power minus 1 so we can see that uh, uh, all all integrals of this form that is i n uh, with values n greater than equal to 1 uh, can be reduced to integrals can be uh, reduced to integrals of uh, i0 and i1 